Hello guys, what is up? This is Glad to Good, and this is a tutorial on how you can quote unquote Poke Chen Pokemon into your Pokemon X or Y cartridge or Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire cartridge. Now, you first off do not need to have a save dongle and you do not need to have a power saves. So, you do not need anything extra other than just an SD card and an SD card reader to go along with your 3DS and to go along with your computer. Secondly, now all you have to do is put your SD card into your computer and it should look like this. If you see the DCIM folder, there's nothing wrong with that. That just means that yeah, I think you have pictures on your computer and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So this is how, it's look, this is how it should look like other than um, you know, it also have a DCIM folder so do not worry if you do have that. Now go into the description below and there should be two links. Well, actually more than two links. There should be like three links or something like that. One, having a PK Hex download over here, which is basically the program that you're going to be using to create the Pokemon. Um, here is the download link for that. They do make uh, tons of new updates to this program. There are lots of new updates, so uh, make sure that you have the newest one every single time that you do use it. Whether it's uh, you know a couple hours later, just make sure that you update it. Since you never know whenever they can just update it and screw you over. And then there's also the RAM2 save folder. Now, what you want to do is just download all of these, and um, as well as the code.bin file that is in the description below. And once you have all that, I have a whole entire folder filled with this, and said, now I want to delete it. So let's just put those into the root of your SD card. So after you have downloaded also uh, PK Hex, open up this, and it should look like, it should look something like this without the toggle interface. It should just look like this. Um, you know, no Pokemon selected or whatever, and uh, it's nice and dandy, right? Now, um, you know, you can create your own Pokemon. This is a lot like Pokegen. If you've never even used Pokegen before, you know, you just have to pick the Pokemon. You have to pick the nickname you have for it, and, uh, you know, pick the nature. Make sure that everything is legal. If you want to look at things that are illegal, go on Pokemon Database there. If you can look at Pokemon, like, you know, Cerebi.net and uh, Bulb Bulbapedia, all that kind of stuff. And you can figure out what's legal for the game, what's not legal for the game, so then you can uh, do all that. Now, if you want to make hacked Pokemon, then all you have to do is go into where the file is saved, and uh, it's supposed to say PK Hex. Just change the E to an A, make a PK Hacks. So then let me just show you what happens whenever you do open it up. Whenever you do open it up, it's going to say, Illegal mode activated, please behave. So. That just basically means have fun, do whatever the hell you want, and you can give certain Pokemon the craziest of moves, craziest of abilities that you can add on to the game. Now personally, I like to make actual Pokemon since you can't even trade those Pokemon and you can't really use them in battles, which isn't really much fun, but it is fun to see Caterpies in normal battles and uh, not online battles, just use fucking uh, Dragon Ascent or just crazy moves like that. It's just hilarious. But um, yeah. So basically, tonight I'm going to be doing some uh, shiny random winter trades with my buddy just Play Pokemon. So I had to make a whole entire box filled with chat dots filled with Amolkus. So, you know, we're making basically our least favorite Pokemon, um, you know, being winter traded and whatnot. So um, I made them. And uh, basically, what you're supposed to do at this point is. Uh, make the Pokemon, make the files, make all that, and this and that, and this and that, and this and that. So, um, yeah, here are the files that I made. Uh, make sure that's EKX files. Now, they're going to come out as EK6 files whenever you make the Pokemon. So, um, I'm just going to basically make this quick for you. I already made the files individually, so here we go. We got the chat dot. Um, all you got to do is open up the toggle box interface and you can just set these Pokemon over here and uh, I'm just going to speed this up for you guys real quick. And then I'm also going to add the Emoga over here. Make sure again that they are EK6 files. Okay, now that you have done all that, all you have to do now is go to Tools over here and click Save Box Data Plus Plus. And then it's going to say if you want to save all boxes. Now, you do not want to save all boxes since you just only made one box. Now, if you made multiple boxes, then yeah, you do want to probably do that. But I only made one box, so in this situation, I click No. It'll still save it. 
and then you can just name the file to Mocha Chatot, which is what I did. It's going to turn into a bin folder. Uh, I already did that, so I'm not really going to save it again, but, uh, you know, same exact thing is um, done. And now, all you got to do is take the SD card out of your game. Let's do that real quick. And put the SD card back into your 3DS. And let's open up Pokemon Omega Ruby slash Alpha Sapphire real quick. So I'm going to go right into the game over here. So here over here is the game. Um, you know, kind of unprofessional of me to do this, but hey, you know, it's easiest and uh, you guys can see it all nice and dandy. So we're opening up Alpha Sapphire all nicely and... Um, Basically, you just want to check out your game. You want to see what sort of box you want to get rid of, replace, or whatever. So, I'm going to look real quick and see what kind of box I want to replace it with. Uh, you know, I already did this before. As you can tell, all these Pokemon over here, and they're all legal, legally to be traded, except, you know, they're actually not legit, <laughs> obviously. And, uh, yeah, so over here is box six. I, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I want to get rid of box six. This is just a pile of shit. So, um... Water traded shit that is. So basically, all you have to do, you don't even have to save. You can just go ahead and click home. You can click onto the internet browser. And then, you will probably want to go to the Rams to save um, website that I listed below. And it will give you the instructions over here. Now, um, you know, I already gave you sort of the instructions that you have to do. Just, you know, get the files, put them inside, and all that kind of jazz. Now over here, go to URL, and uh, you want to basically make a save file onto the SD card of what your game is already. So you want to go to Instructions 4 and put in bit.ly slash, and this is case sensitive, so be careful, 1 capital J capital U G capital A capital F, whoops, I did not make a capital over there, capital F, and then a V. If you want to bookmark this, just click confirm, go to menu, click add to bookmark, it won't, it won't uh, disrupt anything, and uh, you know, it's just going to be downloading all this kind of stuff, and it's just going to like, whoops, I done fucked up and made it green. Don't worry, you did not screw up anything, now all you have to do is go to click home, actually no, don't click home, what am I doing? Uh, what you want to do is just exit out of the game. I don't know whether this was screwed up or not, I hope it's not. You want to exit out of the game, you want to take your SD card out, and you want to put it back into your computer. So let's do that, and if everything did go well, uh, there should be a RAM save file over here. Now this wasn't in here before, only the, RAM, only the R save in and the R save out. But now there's a RAM save that the uh, 3DS created itself through the internet. So, now what you, all you have to do is go into PK Hacks and click file, click open, and go into your um, SD card. So then just go into your removable disk or whatever it is, and you're not going to see any files except for this. So what you have to do is go over here to where it says EKX files and click all files, and then click RAM save. Click open, and then bam, you can see everything on your computer that's accessed, whatever shiny, whatever the nonsense may be, and then just go over here, go to the box that you want to completely, and I mean completely, wipe out. Or, you can just go to File, Open, and then find the file that you made, whether it is uh, whatever the file that you made before, with the whole entire box that you saved, or that you exported at least. And that, for me, was uh, the uh, Molga Chatot one. I was I didn't remember whether I made Chatot Molga or Molga Chatot. It was Ch Molga Chatot. Box binary loaded, and bam! You got the whole entire box replaced. So make sure that you got that you're gonna replace a box that you don't care about, uh, or just put in an empty box that you have. I don't have any empty boxes, however. And there we go. We have a whole entire box filled with whatever you did put in, whether it's one Pokemon, whether it's a ton of Pokemon. And then, what you want to do is click Sav, and then you want to click Export Sav, and then, now all you have to do is go into your SD card again, go into your removable disk, and you want to replace this RAM Sav folder. So just overwrite it, click Yes, and bam, you, you've saved that. Now, let's go back into the game.
So I'm taking the SD card out, I'm putting it back into my 3DS. And let's go right back into Alpha Sapphire. Let's see if this worked. Remember, I saved it into box six. So if it wasn't box four, it was box six. So um, before I do anything, I just want to load up the game first and foremost. Um, you, obviously, if you're going to go straight into the game and expect anything to happen, you're wrong. That's not how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to open up the game. And now, like you did before, you go to home. And then, you go to internet browser once again. Now, you know, you, this is uh, kind of repetitive after you've done this a few times, you're going to remember it a little better. Everything already bookmarked, so I'm going to go but, uh, I'm gonna go to your, I'll just show you guys what you're supposed to do. And now you're supposed to go back onto the Ranch You Save website, which is over here, and you're supposed to see um, step number 13, which is going to be bits.ly slash one capital C A Y C H O. Click confirm, and then if you want to uh, do the whole entire bookmark thing again, I'm not going to do that again, again since I already have that bookmarked. It's going to do the same exact procedure, load it up. It's going to fail to load it up, uh, apparently. But this time, do not do not um, you know exit out of the game. You just want to click resume. You want to go to your PC. And if everything worked well, if everything worked in your hands, you're supposed to go to box six and BAM! This box is now raped with your Pokemon that you chose to be Pokegen. If this is not even Pokegen, this is Pokehex. Anyways guys, I hope this did help. Uh, make sure that you can trade these Pokemon, make sure you can use them, because sometimes you may do something wrong. And, um, you know, if you want to church up how to use PK Hacks, here's Google, there's YouTube, Sleepy Jirachi, I'm sure can help you out on Twitter as well. Or I can help you out on Twitter, my at is at Galactic Elliot, and, uh, you know, we're all willing to help as a community. Either way, I hope this helped you guys out, it surely did help me whenever I watch Sleepy Jirachi, and also my friend Matt, Sora10+, shout out to him, or Sora10, sure, please, shout out to him, he's a really awesome dude, they helped me out with this, and I just wanted to help you guys out. All props goes to them because I would not know about this without them. So please, it's not it's not my discovery. It's not my genial intellect. It's their genial intellects, really. And uh, they're just awesome, and they help me out a lot. So hope I helped you guys out. If you have any sort of questions, you can hit up the comment section, or you can hit me up on Twitter. If you want an instant help, you can hit me up on Twitter. That's a lot better for me. Either way, this is Galactic Elliot, and I'll see you guys later.